Doctor Who Doctor by Doctor. Sixth Doctor Era Overview and Top 10 Stories. The era of the Sixth Doctor, as played by Colin Baker, ran from 1984 to 1986 and consisted of two seasons and one story at the close of the third Peter Davison season. The Sixth Doctor was envisaged as a deliberate contrast to his polite and mild-mannered predecessor, being a loud, theatrical and pompous figure very much in love with the sound of his own voice. Just like me. However to say that the era of the Sixth Doctor did not go as planned would very much be putting it mildly. Before his first full season had even finished airing the series became involved in an astoundingly poorly handled controversy in which BBC management elected to at first axe the show outright and then grudgingly allow it to continue with slashed episode counts and budgets, while making their disdain for the series as plain as possible to the press and the general public. For many years the era and even the lead actor were blamed by the dumber and more sheep-like elements of fandom for this downfall, and while some individuals who are still around continue to cling to their delusional fantasies, it is now generally acknowledged that the series itself was in no way to blame for the shitstorm that was going on behind the scenes, and that Colin Baker, one of the most passionate and committed actors ever to take on the part, certainly wasn't and he is now one of the most popular actors to have returned to the role on the Big Finish audio series. Top 10 Sixth Doctor Stories 10. The Nightmare Fair Yes, you heard right. No, I don't normally include Big Finish, novels or other such things in top 10 lists such as these as I consider them spin-off ephemera in the main, but I'm going to make an exception in this case for three reasons. 1. The Nightmare Fair could and should have been made for TV, being the first story of the original season 23 that was just weeks away from entering production when a giant cunt stuck his o fissure in. 2. I'm not putting time alash or fucking mind warp in this list, and 3. It's my video and I can do what the fuck I like. But yeah, The Nightmare Fair, which was written by godlike former Who producer Graham Williams and would have seen the return of Michael Goff as the Celestial Toymaker but is played on the audio version by David Bailey, is a really entertaining story that is a lot of fun on audio and would no doubt have been just as good if not better on TV. It's a crying shame we didn't get it, frankly. 9. The Ultimate Foe The climax to the interminable trial of a Time Lord season starts off very well. This two-part story has the first episode written by the great Bob Holmes and sees things get very wacky indeed with the arrival of the Master and the revelation that the Doctor's prosecutor and chief season villain the Valeyard is actually the Doctor from his own future. Or something. It's batshit insane but rather fascinating. But alas the second episode doesn't live up to the promise of the first, with Holmes dying before he'd written it and the hastily commissioned Pip and Jane Baker having no idea what was supposed to happen because Eric Seward had a hissy fit and called in the lawyers so they couldn't be told. How fucked up is that? 8. The Mysterious Planet the first segment of the interminable trial of a junkyard story is also written by Bob Holmes and he did at least finish this one. It's not great, but passable enough, let down by a very cheap looking production, but has some typically decent dialogue. 7. Terror of the Vervoids Probably the best segment of the interminable trial of the audience's patience story, which granted is probably damning with faint praise, Vervoids is a daft but fun monster story that again suffers from the uber cheapo feel that season 23 seems to have almost all the way through by one model shot. It feels a bit season 17-ish at times, and while it would have undoubtedly have been way better if it was, it's still reasonably entertaining in a turn-your-brain-off kind of way. 6. Mark of the Rani A genuinely fun story which, as with almost all of season 22, looks way better than almost all of season 23, Mark of the Rani is an entertaining pseudo-historical story with a nice atmosphere quality production values and some hilariously verbose dialogue. 5. The Twin Dilemma 
mercilessly slagged off and perpetually underrated. The Sixth Doctor's debut story is actually a rather wonderfully fun Flash Gordon type tale that screams OTT in almost every department, including the lead actor's performance. Colin is fucking hilarious as the regeneration addled new Doctor and the subplot of the Doctor being more than a bit mental after his regeneration is really the main plot, with the giant slug tail really just a backdrop to the Doctor's attempts to keep his head on straight and Barry's struggle to adjust to him. A hoot. 4. The Two Doctors. So much of this era, and season 22 in particular, remains underrated and this darkly comic gem is no exception. Two Doctors brings back Patrick Troughton and Fraser Hines as the second Doctor and Jamie and it ain't half wonderful to see them again and in such a fun, entertaining and subversively delicious story to boot. 3. Vengeance on the Rose. Doctor Who predicts the advent of reality television and the dumbing down of mainstream culture in the 21st century with a frankly rather terrifying prescience. Like much of the first sixth Doctor season, Vengeance on the Rose is a darkly hilarious science fiction thriller that has lost none of its satirical bite in over 30 years. 2. Attack of the Cybermen. Possibly, along with Horns of Nyman, the most underrated story of all time, Attack of the Cybermen kicks off season 22 with a gritty action thriller that looks frankly fantastic to this day. Some wonderful guest actors, characters and dialogue and the newly established TARDIS team of the Sixth Doctor and Barry in sparkling form. Criminally underappreciated by a fan community that actually thinks Day of the Fucking Doctor is a classic. Fuck me old boots. 1. Revelation of the Daleks. The best story of the Sixth Doctor's run is almost the exemplification of the darkly comic yet harder hitting thriller tone of his first season, and it's fucking awesome. As grotesque, dark yet wickedly funny as who has ever or will ever get on television at least, Revelation is Eric Sawood's final transformation into Robert Holmes and brims with character, atmosphere, and a spectacularly grim yet ridiculously entertaining yarn. The era of the Sixth Doctor is a difficult one to rate, as the behind-the-scenes crisis leads to one of the biggest drops of quality between seasons ever seen in the series, and yet Colin Baker's hilariously brilliant Doctor and the sheer strength of his still unbelievably underrated and fantastic first full season is enough, for me, to overcome his largely disappointing second season and ensure that I cannot bring myself to give the era as a whole anything less than a B+.